1950 I started at, at the University of Queensland and graduated at the end of uh, 1955. Mm -hmm. And they were very early days, as you know, and um, uh, as I say in the right up here that um, the, the lecturers at the time were pioneers in the true sense of the word because they were establishing a course and developing it. And you sometimes hear criticism of the lecturers, but I have great respect for the majority of the lecturers, mm. the Professor Cummings, Bruce Lucas, you know, they're famous names. And, uh, and, um, and the course in those days uh, was in its infancy, but uh, it was, you know, on the whole, well, it turned out a, 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 a number of reasonable architects, I'll put it this way. <laughs> do you remember who was in your class? I do indeed, yes. Uh, they were the days of small classes. We started off with eight people mm -hmm. in the degree course. Mm -hmm. And after uh, one year, the number dropped down to six, would you believe? <laughs> and uh, the first year was, uh, well, Van Nutter, mm -hmm. John Kiro, Ian Charlton, Harry Davis, uh, Fred Lafferty, and the two that dropped out, whose names I, I can't remember exactly, they subsequently went into pharmacy and various other things. But, uh, and the lecturers that uh, uh, we had through the course, which I've listed here, are Professor Cummings, uh, Bruce Lucas, Ethel Bretnell, John Hitch, Ron Boller, E.J. Weller, and Dr. Carl Langer. Uh, they were the, mm -hmm. the lecturers, and they were, and they were practicing architects with experience. Uh, and I think you know you can do a lot worse than that. Starting off a course, say somebody like John Hitch, we had for more than one year. You know, right. he, he, he was the design lecturer, tutor. Rod Boller, Ron Boller on the other hand, he was mainly first year right? and he told us how to use set squares and how to make sure that the set square was square and we, we thought it was pretty humorous at the time but later on we realised it was important. <laughs> was it Rod or Ron Boller? Ron. Ron, Ron yeah. Mm -hmm. Rod appeared later on in a very small way as far as we were concerned, yeah. yeah Ron's a bloke with a moustache, yeah. So what years did John Hitch run? Uh, well, I first came across him in, in uh, probably it must have been third year, because actually what happened in third year, I think we looked around the class and thought that I was a, lad, a likely lad, and over the Christmas break I got a, uh, uh, a job in the office and subsequently worked for my first fourth year with Theo Prime and Associates. Right. Where John Hitch was a partner. Yes. Yeah. And then later on, I think he he probably took us to design for fourth and fifth year, I think. Right. Yeah. yeah. So my understanding is that there was a period of time there where he was running the final year. Yes. Of, at uh, the University of Queensland. He yes. Was Yes. Yep. Subsequently, I think Campbell Scott sort of slotted into that role, I think, didn't he? I don't know whether they worked together. No, I don't think they did because I think John Hitch had gone down south. Right. Yeah. So Campbell yeah. taught perhaps uh, in the, at the end of the 50s or early 60s, perhaps? Uh, well, he probably might have been going down at night, perhaps. Right. I'm not sure. But yeah. I'm not sure. Most of our time was spent down at George Street. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, we came out here for uh, the science subjects. Oh, right. And, and now, did we ever go into the tower? I think we must have, but that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> interesting, but I can't remember. Yeah. We, we used to call it the bloody tower, I think, and that was yeah. what it was known as. But, uh, but uh, down at George Street, we were in the present uh, QUT administration building. Yes. Mm. 
on the on the top floor. I think. On the on the top floor, yes. Yeah. yeah. 